We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is, is Bee Sting Rainforest Honey Papaya Mustard. Sweet and, and a bit hot. So this one, to me, seemed like it would be really interesting to use the grill sauce. So that's what I did. And that is why it is almost out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Really hard to get a it's it's right about where where the right about even with that uh, the red writing right there and this may be the fastest I've gone through a bottle of sauce this thing has just enough just enough to do this video and uh, that's it and but it is well we'll get to that in a second so anyway ingredients we have water honey cane sugar habanero pepper Papaya, papaya doesn't really show up here. Carrots, mustard seed, turmeric blend, cornstarch, salt, ascorbic acid, and vinegar. Okay, so uh, it is very thick, as you can see here. So if we let this go, it's it's about maybe here. So there's basically the neck of this left. So we have enough probably to do this video and this will not be continuing on from here so let's give you a look here's what we're dealing with very slow pour and this is partially due to the cornstarch in there okay so let's put this here now one of the things I dislike about this is you can barely see it but there's a roundness to this cap right here which is not so good because you have to prop it against something to get it to flow to the bottom. We're going to hope for the best here. See if we can balance it. Okay, so you can see it is not smoothing out particularly. It's it's a very jelloish texture here. This is cornstarch. This is what we see a lot of a lot of cornstarch jiggles and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it sticks okay, not great, I wouldn't say. But, see, it's got that nice honey mustard color to it. I, I don't like, actually, the texture where it's doing this. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> but, uh, okay, away we go. thick and gloppy in my mouth. I don't like that. I'm getting a bit of papaya, a lot of sweet, a little bit of habanero. I'm not getting a whole ton of mustard though. Uh, by itself, this is not reading super strong as a, as a uh, honey mustard. A little back end of mustard too, but not a whole lot. So this is from Half Moon Bay. They also do the iguana hot sauces, uh, where we beat some of this. So I put it right on the chicken, right on the grill. There you can see it. Grilled honey mustard chicken. And as a grill sauce, I I enjoyed it quite a bit. Bring it. Let's just. I'm just gonna use the rest of this up. See if we get any more of this, but you can see there's little bits of seeds and stuff in there. <laughs> I don't understand why you wouldn't put a flat cap on this. I'm so this decision I'm so puzzled by. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. So I can lean it against something. Okay, let's tear into this. 
Here's the bottom of this. Very, just it just came out really, really good. And I don't normally use mustards as uh, grill sauces. This one, uh, this one just seemed like it would be pretty fitting. So. Um, with so it didn't read at all with um, papaya once I grill it, it it's actually better without the sauce but I'm going to dip it here just to see if we can get a little heat this isn't a super hot sauce or anything but There's enough sugar in there to caramelize it a little bit. The actual part that was grilled is just really special. It's really good. This almost functions better just as a straight grill sauce. I didn't taste a lot of it in this form. I um, I don't like this mouthfeel. Flavor-wise, it's, it's a lot of what I look for in a honey mustard, except it's too far away, and there's just not enough mustard flavor here. Possibly they've got some other ones. I'm going to look around for those two. I don't know how many mustards I'm going to get to over the winter. But I've got another one behind this, of course. It goes through September, which is kind of when grill season begins to wind down for me. I don't have a place I can protect the grill well enough for winter grilling to be an option where I currently am. I have in the past. And who knows, maybe I will again someday, but it's not right now. I need to just chicken thighs again, though. One of my favorite meats to grill. I'm not a big fan of chicken breast on the grill. It's a... You know what, what I don't like about this? I think I figured it out now. It's got this artificial sort of flavor to it. Like it's got a, it's got a sort of fake taste to it. I don't like that. However, let's try tales of. Uh, I'll be coming back to that. I don't need to worry. It's a tail of two mustards, really. If you can grill it, get some of that caramelization going on, this is an absolutely fantastic grilling sauce. Like this, where it looks like pudding? No. No, no, no. And I don't have enough to try to throw it on something and regrill it, you know, grill something else in the future. So this is this is interesting, I guess. If I decide I'm going to do honey mustard again, uh, this, that's all I'm going to use this for. And I will say it's quite nice like that. With the the grills, or the caramelization, a little bit of smoke in it. By itself, I don't like the texture of this. The flavor, just, I, I don't know. I think, I think... If they had this in a non-papaya version, and possibly they do, I don't know. I might consider this again, but it just—it's not enough of a mustard actually for me to make sense as a as any sort of honey mustard. So if they pulled the papaya out and just did a straightforward honey mustard, and also preferably took the cornstarch out, I am so baffled as to why that's even there. They might have something, but this is like the, it reminds me of the bee steak hot sauce I got too. Uh, which I also had similar reservations about. It just, there's there's something like, bee sting is always one, there's just one note away. 
It's like they have some good ideas and then execution just falls flat. But there it is. There it was. The bee sting. Rainforest honey papaya mustard. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame. <laughs>